Hello, my name is Stefan Hewitt and I'm the owner and inventor of the Polecam system. I'd like to give you a quick overview of the new Autopod system. Comes in a standard Peli flight case, two layers, an upper layer and a lower layer. It comes as a one leg or as a two leg system. To put it together, we've tried to make it as simple and as easy as possible and requiring as few tools as possible. First of all, remove the lightweight base. Now, there are two other bases available. We have a heavyweight 26 kilo base, and we also have a dolly on wheels. Remove the lightweight leg, which has leveling feet, and the first quick release point for the first leg. Remove the first leg. You will see it has a six pin XLR for the power and data. The V mount wedge, pop that in the bottom and secure the locking nut. Take the second leg if you, if you require a second leg. Now you'll notice on this demo unit, the Autopod logos are yellow. On units that we will deliver to customers, these are all black to help it all disappear. So you now have a two leg system. Finally in here, we have what we call the camera plate. Standard retained quarter inch, which can sit straight in the top here and allows you to put the camera on the top of this. Then we remove the Autopod control unit. This is a box that is auto ranging, uses power con connectors. You have a, uh, a desk switch, a foot switch, the two leg switches, and a possibility of 24 volts DC input. For you, we've supplied you with a five meter American standard IEC lead. From the lid, you have your power con to IEC connector. that can be connected there. We'll place this on the floor in a second. Also to demonstrate, we have a foot switch for up and down. This has a standard three pin XLR connector, which connects into where it says foot switch. Also available is a desk switch or desk controller. This allows the same up and down as the foot switch, but also with three pre-programmable positions. Once you've got those connected, we then turn around to the other side and we will connect the two legs using the short six pin XLR connectors, male and female at each end. We will connect leg one to the bottom leg and leg two to the upper leg. If you're only using a single autopod system, then you must always connect to leg one. Do not connect to leg two with one leg only. Finally, we've got everything in. We power up the system. You'll have uh, LED lights front and back to tell you you've got power in there. Then we take either the foot controller or the desk controller. And the first thing we need to do is to calibrate the system. First thing we need to do with a new system is calibrate the two legs together. One click down and another click and a hold. And what you will see is the legs ever so slightly move as they calibrate, i.e. they put themselves at the very bottom. Once calibrated, you can press the up button and both legs will move simultaneously. 
they will also stop simultaneously. They will keep going until they hit the top, or in this case, they go through the roof. Stop. The stops are soft stops and soft starts. And when you press up or down, it's what we refer to as impulse drive. One click and it will keep going till it hits the end. At any point, you can stop it, store position one, drive to a new position, stop it, store position two. You can then press position one and it will go to position one and press position two and it will go to position two. If you press down, it will go all the way to the bottom. Now what is also included with the system is a 100 millimetre bowl with an ad bowl adapter and a standard 3 8 so you could put larger cameras on here. The way this is attached is you will see there are four screws here and four screw holes here. And included in your kit will be a set of four screws to attach to the quick release plate. But you can also, should you require more height, you can attach two spacer rods. The way these are attached here is they screw into the top here and using the screws out of the top of this and through the camera plate. Also included with your kit is a set of hex keys to help you tighten up here. One leg, two leg, up riser rods and a levelling bowl. As well as the desk controller, of course you also have a foot controller. One click with the foot controller will keep going until it either hits the bottom or a second click stops it. I can then go up, stop or continue all the way down to the bottom. And as you will note, even when it hits the bottom, it's a soft stop. So this can be used on air. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Should you need any more help and information, don't hesitate to contact us at the contact information at the end of this video. Thank you very much.